After creating a selection, it's often necessary to improve or refine that selection to get the best results possible. The Refine Selection Brush is just the tool for the job. Let's take a closer look at how this tool works. So here I am in the Elements Organizer, and I'm going to scroll down and select an image of a flower. Now with that flower selected, I'm going to click the Editor button to open that image in the Elements Editor. Now the first order of business is to create a selection. And for this particular subject, I think the best tool is going to be the Quick Selection tool. So this works off of a brush tip shape. I have my brush tip set to about 100. And I'm just going to click inside of this flower to create a general selection of that flower. So you don't have to get super detailed here, but I just want to get fairly accurate. Now I want to refine this selection. So down here in my tool options, I'm going to click this tool, which is the Refine Selection Brush tool. This is going to show you a view that you probably haven't seen before. This is called the overlay. Some people might call this the quick mask mode, but you can change this by clicking on the drop down menu here. You can see overlays currently chosen. We could also choose on black or on white if we wanted to. So I'm going to keep overlay chosen and then just click off of it. Now I'm going to zoom in a little bit by pressing command plus on Mac or control plus on windows. With the Refine Selection Brush tool, you can adjust the size if you want to. And this button here is enabled, which is the Push-Pull Selection option. And what you'll see is that when I move out here, if you look in this area here, it's saying it's currently going to subtract from the selection. If I move in here, it's going to add or make a new selection. If I hover right along the edge, it's going to edit the selection edge. So in this mode, the red area is the unselected area and the regular area or clear area is the selected area. So what I can do here is using this brush, I can just click and drag to kind of push the selection in a little bit to get it a little more accurate. And you can see now I'm getting a little bit closer to the edge there. I can also push it away and see what's happening. As I do this, you know, I'm pushing this selection edge away from where it currently is. So I can continue doing that you can even come in here and when you get this cursor, you can literally just trace along to kind of redefine the selection edge. So I'm just kind of tracing the edge of the petals here. And when I let go, you'll see that it redefines that selection edge. I'm going to push this in a little bit. That's looking better. Maybe push that out. The job here is to just kind of fine tune this selection and to get the best results possible. So I'm not going to spend too much time here. This isn't looking too bad, but I may push this away from the edge just to get a better result there. And I think here we'll push this in. That looks pretty good. And now with that, I'm just going to switch over to my hand tool so I can see this as a selection. So if I zoom out, you'll see that I have this area selected and any change I make now is going to be affected only in that area. So I'm going to come up here and click on the create new adjustment, choose hue saturation, and I can increase the saturation if I want to. I could even shift the hue one way or another to really pull out some of the color in that flower. And you'll see because I used an active selection, it created a layer mask on that adjustment layer. So turning off the visibility will show you what it was before and what it looks like now. With the Refined Selection Brush tool, you can adjust an existing selection to achieve the best results possible, making your photos look the best that they can.